After having completed the first two steps in Polya's problem solving guide, I have tried to understand the problem and I have tried to devise a plan which we can see here, my flowchart. And now it's time for the third step, which is to implement it. And we're going to try to follow this. And the first thing I do is that I create a new script and I save it and give it a name that reflects what's in it. And I'm going to say lecture four, task number two dot py to tell that it's a Python script. So what is the first thing that we need to do? Input the answer to the question. And the question was, is it sunny outside today? Yes or no? So that's the first thing that we're going to do. And then we should check if it's a valid answer or not. So that's the next step. We're here stepping into using if statements. So, all right, let's try that. Okay, so if the if the weather is not yes or the weather is not no. So if it is not a valid answer, then we will go down here and print an error message. In other cases, if we see that, all right, it is yes or no, then we should have another if statement to check um, if it is yes or no. So if if it is yes, what should we do? We should display the good weather message. So if the answer was yes, we go down here and we can see that, all right, now we have covered this branch. We have covered this where it's not yes or no. So we only have one left, which is this one. And here we should print uh, hopefully the weather will be better tomorrow. So here we have an if statement inside another if statement. So let's try to run it. And we say, is it sunny outside today? Uh, hello. Or oh, we get an, get an error because no, that was not yes or no. So let's try to run it again. Is it sunny outside? Yes. So it was a yes or no. It was a yes, so we print this message. One more case to try, this one here, where we answer no. So let's try to run it again. And we see that I have a spelling mistake. It should be weather. Uh, but we see it uh, gave us this message that hopefully the weather will be better tomorrow. So we can see here that we have tried to use if statements and succeeded to use them. We have 
uh, we have a nested if statement because we have one if statement inside an if statement and it's pretty common that you need to to do that um, so we should take that with us for uh, for the future task that we're going to solve